And, and tell us a, a bit about solid, which as I understand it is a, is a, 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 a you, you explain it, but it sounds like a platform that lets us decide, lets us, gives us greater control over our information and who can see it. But just describe what, what the basic solid uh, uh, precepts are. Okay, so the, first of all, we'll reiterate, if you're a developer, do come to uh, interrupt.com and uh, do get involved with it. Interrupt is your, is your, is your uh, company. Is a startup. Which is, which I, is uh, building the... Uh, dot com. If you're a user, sorry, this isn't ready for you yet. We'll let you know when it is. Uh, so uh, we don't want people flocking out to try to turn it on and say, eh, it doesn't work. Um, uh, but it, it is exciting. The, ro the, the idea of Solid is that we separate the apps from the data storage. So it's as though when you take, a, you know, suppose you take a roll of film on your camera and you uh, roll a film, as we call it, and, you, and it says, where do you want to upload this film to? Uh, and you have a choice. So at the moment you can, uh, you know, so for example, your camera might now say, do you want to put it in Dropbox? Uh, and uh, do you want to put it in Google Drive? Uh, do you want to put it on your home computer? Do you want to put it onto the computer at work where you're doing that project? And so with, uh, with Solid, we call each of these uh, paces where you've got a place to store data, a pod. As it, you can think of it as personal online data store, but it's just pod, pod works. And, you're, and you can have a personal pod, you can have a work pod. Your work, for example, may decide for, uh, <coughs> the Washington Post may decide, we're gonna use lots of really cool solid apps. And if you wanna use solid apps to, for just for, for your development work, if you're uh, uh, review, reviewing, if you wanna work together on articles using solid, go ahead, but all of the data must be stored on the Washington Post solid pod because we might want to manage security and because we want to manage the backup. We want to make sure the posterity's got a copy of it. And so as long as you use the Washington Post solid pod, you can use all kinds of solid apps. And in particular, you can use all those ones which are branded as, uh, as, as uh, beneficent apps. One of the neat things down the road is that, uh, in fact, we were talking about the, uh, the push to, uh, the, the fake news, is, um, phenomenon pushed a lot of people to, uh, to decide that they wanted to pay a journalist to make news, to figure out what's going on for them. So they signed up, so, that, so they got subscriptions to. God things. bless them. Uh, God bless them. So well, things like the Washington Post, things like The Guardian, uh, places where people do, do, serious, uh, do serious journalism. And, they, and, and this, uh, and meanwhile, they are dis the assumption is that any app they use on the internet is going to abuse them. Any app, the assumption is any app they're going to do is going to be just mining their data and manipulating them. So with Solid, we have actually, because we, with Solid, you will have access to huge amounts of data. In the Solid world, you will have access to lots of different types of data. You'll have access to all your financial data because of open banking. You will have, open, you know, there'll be open health. There will be, you will have access, in fact, to a lot more data about yourself than Amazon even has now, because you will know all the things you bought, and Amazon only knows the things you bought for data. So you'll have access to so much data that you can then, it is very, very <coughs> beneficial for you to run programs which allow you to run your life, to figure out what to give the kids for birthdays, uh, to figure out where to take that vacation, and so on. You can run, you'll be able to run very powerful programs and, the, and you will pay, you will want to pay somebody to write them. You will want to pay a community or you, maybe you'll get open source community ones, but, but these programs which are beneficent, which are, if they have a beneficent brand, then the idea is, it's like, you know, in a way, it's like a journalist. A, they've taken the Hippocratic Oath. They have said, I am writing this app for the benefit of the user. The app works for the user. So when I'm using this app, I know it's not, there won't be any advertising. If it takes stores data, it stores data in order to help me. So that's a massive change. Solid, Solid is, a, is gonna be a ubiquitous data storage system, which will give people complete control of their data. Beneficent apps are one of the things, one of the movements I hope we'll see, because I want to see it. <laughs> I'm gonna write some and I'm gonna use them. And one of the things I'm gonna enjoy doing is making sure that my kids and grandkids use our, uh, live in a world where I've paid for apps that they use which do not abuse them, because I can do that. So uh, that's, yeah, that's the, the solid idea is exciting, and uh, that's what 
keeps me busy now. 